hi everyone how are you all doing today uh, well thank you so much for watching this video so today I'm going to talk about how Windows Defender uh, which is your default antivirus on your Windows 10 PC protects you a great heap uh, you know with some newly generated malware for which the definition is not really available so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to create a new exploit right in front of you uh, which is obviously not available anywhere else in the world and there's no definition available uh, because it has not been discovered yet and let's see how Windows Defender uses some of its client-side machine learning and behavioral monitoring to protect you from from those kind of things so what I'm going to do right now let me first go ahead and create a new macro right in front of you uh, and this what this macro actually does this macro basically downloads something else from someplace else and executes that on your PC and this uh, which 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 supposed to be a you know a traditional way how uh, you know office files are being used to download malicious payload later on uh, so let's let's try and do this right in front of you so i'm going to write a new i'm not going to create a new new content here or new document here and um, let's see if we give it a name called text exploit 1.0 um, and of course we'll have to first write a code uh, in as a macro so I already have written a code uh, beforehand so that I'm not going to bore you, bore you, me writing a code. So I already have these files hosted someplace else which will go ahead and download this and then execute that onto your PC. Now let's save this particular file as a document um, with macro enabled and let's see what happens. So yeah, there you go, I'll just save it. Now. Let me show you what this document actually does in, in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and disable real-time monitoring for now. So let will show you what exactly happens when sometimes when some somebody runs this particular on a, on a PC. So my antivirus is currently on. Let me close this particular file and then reopen it again. So before that, let me show you. I have few files uh, that I created and it's there in my C demo folder. I have few Excel sheets, document files, and some PowerPoint decks. Let's see what happens to these files when I open this that particular macro document that we just created, which is the malicious document. So when I open this particular document, uh, since it's it's macro, obviously Office gives you this uh, you know disable disclaimer that you know there's a macro, please, and it has been disabled. You actually have to go and explicitly enable it. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it for now. Now what exactly happens is it actually has encrypted all my files. It's now showing me this. Back to my C demo folder, uh, you will see that all my files that I just created uh, actually got encrypted. Now I can't really open any of these particular files. So this is how you know this particular macro that we just created, uh, you know, is malicious payload from someplace else and end up you know encrypting all your files. Now let's see what exactly happens when Windows Defender is actually on and you just created some you know this particular file again. All right, so let me just to, first of all clean this up so that. Uh, I have a script which cleans this up so my files are now restored back to the previous state uh, and we ha still have this word file let me just close it again and now let's go ahead and enable our antivirus so I've enabled the malware now you can see the anti-malware anti real-time protection is currently on of Windows Defender uh, everything is all green it's up to date and it's all protecting my PC uh, I'm currently running Windows 10 18.03 build uh, with the latest Windows Defender Security Center. All right, now let's see what happens now. So I'll go. I'm going to go ahead and keep these files, keep this folder here, and I'll take you to my desktop. Or and I have this file again. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> so now I file. Now you just saw that now Windows Defender detected this as malware, uh, and it's giving the same path that this particular file is unable to read because uh, Windows Defender has blocked it. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and cl click OK. And if I take you to my Windows Defender console, uh, we'll see what exactly uh, what, what exactly happened here. So if I uh, go back to my threat history, uh, it showed that this particular file was actually found as a script which basically downloads something from someplace else and it is showing me uh, you know the detail of the same file that we just created right so this way uh, you know your, your Windows Defender protects you from any new exploit that comes onto your PC or you know if you end up writing them yourself uh, even if there's no definition available anywhere else 
uh, but just because Windows Defender has a client-side machine learning which can detect what kind of things are happening on your PC and if there are any anomalous things happening you know, by office files or anything from other files, it's go ahead and detects and blocks it for you without having any definition to be, to be honest. So Windows Defender is a great antivirus. I'm not sure if you're still paying for an antivirus to somebody else. Uh, if you are running Windows 10, uh, it comes with Windows Defender already. Please go ahead and use it. It's a decent anti-malware. It has come a long way, uh, you know, uh, in few last few years, and it's fairly, fairly, uh, you know, uh, it's able to protect you from the recent and greatest threats that are happening right right now. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.